Cruise news, which cruise lines have the most issues with crime? Well, the crime data has been released for cruises embarking and debarking from U.S. cruise ports. I'm going to share that information with you so that we can consider which cruise lines are the most dangerous, and it's all coming up. Welcome to the Travel Scouts. My name is Jason and we are your cruise information channel. We get you the cruise news and information you're looking for quickly without wasting your time. So if you love cruising, consider subscribing. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into this. The U.S. Department of Transportation has finally released the Cruise Line Incident Report data for 2023. In accordance with the Cruise Vessel Safety and Security Act, cruise lines are required to report certain crimes, which we're going to look at. The U.S. Department of Transportation is then required to make those reports available to the public through their internet portal. However, prior to this weekend, they had not posted a report since the fourth quarter of 2022. But it has now been updated and we have had the first opportunity to take a look at the cruise line incident reports for the first three quarters of 2023. The fourth quarter just ended, so presumably that report will be released in the very near future. Now I'm about to share the data with you and some of it is surprising, but before I do, there are four pieces of information that you need to know. First, know that these reports are only for cruise ships that embark and disembark from the United States. So for example, even though a cruise line like MSC may have a large fleet globally, these reports will only reflect the incidents that occurred on their US based ships. So there is a degree in which we should expect that the cruise lines that have the most cruise ships operating from the U.S. will also have the most incidents reported. The primary cruise lines included in these reports include the following in alphabetical order. Carnival Cruise Line, Celebrity Cruises, Disney, MSC, Norwegian, Princess, and Royal Caribbean. Virgin Voyages and Margaritaville at Sea were each mentioned for one incident in one quarter, but aside from that, they were not mentioned. Second, know that these are reports of criminal activity. It does not mean that there was a conviction. Third, be aware that these reports include incidents involving both crew and passengers. Fourth, here are the categories of incidents that are required to be reported. Again, these are in alphabetical order. The first is assault with serious bodily injury. Then there is death that is regarded as suspicious. There is firing or tampering with the vessel. Then sexual assault, non-rape, sexual assault involving rape. And then there is theft greater than $10,000. In the report that is posted by the Department of Transportation, they just give the numbers by each category. They do not give the specific details about each report. Okay, let's jump into the data. We'll start by looking at the numbers category by category. We will then look at the overall numbers and we will finish with some takeaways. The first category is assault with serious bodily harm. Carnival Cruise Line is not looking good here, leading the pack with nine reported incidents. But Disney is also looking rough with five reported incidents. The only other two cruise lines that had a report in this category were Princess and Royal Caribbean with one each. The next category is death that is regarded as suspicious. Now that may sound strange to some of you, but the fact of the matter is sometimes people do die of natural causes on board a cruise ship. So a death that is regarded as suspicious would be something that more investigation is needed and they are not sure if foul play was involved. The only cruise line that had one of these reports was Carnival Cruise Line back in Q1. And though they don't give the specifics, I do believe that this involved the cruise ship that cruised for Carnival Cruise Line out of Charleston, South Carolina. The third category is firing or tampering with the vessel. And there were only two of these reports. And again, it was with Carnival Cruise Line. They had one report back in Q2 and another report in Q3. Would love to know what was involved with this firing or tampering with the vessel, but we don't know. But at least with the transparency of these reports, we do know that something happened. The fourth category is sexual assault, non-rape. And unfortunately, there were quite a few of these reports. Here's the breakdown. Carnival Cruise Line had the most reported incidents in this category with 15 total reports. Disney Cruise Line was very close behind them with 12 reports. Royal Caribbean was third with five. Norwegian Cruise Line had two, while MSC, Princess, and Margaritaville at Sea had one each. The fifth out of six categories is sexual assault involving rape. And very sadly, there are more reported incidents in this category than any of the other categories. 
Carnival Cruise Line had the most reported rape with 21 incidents. Royal Caribbean was right behind them with the second most at 15. MSC had 10. Norwegian Cruise Line had 6. And Disney Cruise Line had 3. Meanwhile, Celebrity Cruises, Princess Cruises, and Virgin Voyages had one reported incident each. The final category is theft greater than $10,000. There were 14 total cruise line incidents reported. Six of those were with Royal Caribbean, four were with Princess Cruises, three were with Carnival, and one was with Celebrity. So now let's look at the total number of incidents by cruise line. Carnival Cruise Line by far had the most with 51 total incidents reported. Royal Caribbean was second with 27, and Disney Cruise Line was right behind them in third with 20 incidents. Then you have MSC with 11, Norwegian Cruise Line with 8, Princess Cruises with 7, and Celebrity with 2. Virgin Voyages and Margaritaville at Sea had one each. Now let's very quickly look at some takeaways. I have four to share with you. The first is rather obvious. Carnival Cruise Line has been getting a bad reputation and it appears by the data that they may be earning it. We love Carnival Cruise Line and we have cruised a lot with them, but with 51 incidents, that is almost more than Royal Caribbean, MSC, Norwegian Cruise Line, and Princess Cruises combined. And that brings us to the second takeaway, and the second takeaway is that Carnival Cruise Line is not the worst. Disney Cruise Line is. Disney Cruise Line had 20 incidents. There were 15 sexual assaults and 5 assaults with serious bodily harm. But you have to keep in mind that Disney Cruise Line only has 5 cruise ships. If we looked at this as number of incidents per cruise ship, Disney Cruise Line would by far be the worst. The third takeaway is that it is important to note who is not on the list. There are several cruise lines that were not listed, and if they were not listed, it is because they had no incidents to report, and that is great news. And the fourth takeaway is that cruising, generally speaking, is very safe. None of these incident reports are good. We wish the number were zero. There were 130 total incident reports in the data that I have shared. But one thing to keep in mind is that during that same time period, there were more than 10 million cruisers in North America. In fact, when you look at the actual incident rate, it would be an incident rate of one incident per more than 82,000 cruisers. So when you compare that with other cities, locations, and venues, cruising is very safe. But look, quick question for you would love your input. What takeaways or observations did you have as we went through this data from the Department of Transportation? Chime in down below with that. I will look forward to checking that out. Okay, subscribe and turn the notification bell on to stay up to date with the latest cruise news and information. The next video will be coming out soon, but until then, keep on cruising, and we'll catch you in the next video.